The last form of a line is a form that we've actually met before. It's the so-called slope-intercept form. Let me draw a line, and we'll see if we can't come up with its equation in slope-intercept form. So here's a line, and notice that I've, I've specially marked the y-intercept. There's a reason for that. The slope-intercept form is closely related to the point-slope form, but we have to use the y-intercept for our point. So looking at this graph, um, from our point, I go right to up 1. So my slope is how far up and down over how far left and right, 1 half. And my point, that's my y-intercept. It's x equals 0, right? I'm right on the y-axis. y equals 2. Putting that into the point-slope form, I'm going to have y minus 2 equals 1 half x minus 0. But something good happens to us because we're specifically subtracting 0, which we always will be if we use the y-intercept for our point. x minus 0, that's just x. So we don't need those parentheses because nothing's happening in there. Something really cool happens now if we add 2 on both sides. We have y equals 1 half x plus 2. We've seen that form before. That's that y equals mx plus b form we saw working with the tables. y equals mx plus b, where m, in the tables we said it was the change in y over the change in x, and now we see that in the graph, this is the slope. What about b? In the tables we saw that that was the value of y when x is 0. And now in the graph we see that that is the y-coordinate of the y-intercept. This form, then, y equals mx plus b, is called the slope-intercept form of the equation. Right? m is the slope, b is the intercept, by which we mean the y-coordinate of the y-intercept. And we can see that just by looking at this form of the equation. Because just by looking at the form of the equation, we can say what the slope is, and we can say what the y-intercept is. That's why we call this the slope-intercept form. So for example, Say we want to give the slope and y-intercept of the graph of the equation y equals negative 5 eighths x plus 12. Well, looking at this form, m is negative 5 eighths, b is 12. So the slope is negative 5 eighths, and the y-intercept is 0, 12. Where did the 0 come from? The x-coordinate of the y-intercept is always 0. We can also go the other way around. Say we want to give the equation of the line with slope 3 and y-intercept 0, negative 4. Well, the slope is 3, so we'll have m equals 3. The y-coordinate of the y-intercept is negative 4, we'll have b equals negative 4, and so we'll have the equation y equals 3x plus negative 4. Or if we don't like writing plus the negative, we can write y equals 3x minus 4. That's all there is to this. Right? Looking at this form, we can easily read off the slope 
we can easily read off the y-intercept.